let's talk about the void century theory. Now, the void century theory or idea actually comes from an anime show I used to watch as a kid. And this theory comes from the anime show One Piece. So, what is the void century theory? The void century is a century long gap in recorded and archaeological history, the study of which is forbidden by the world government. The events of this period are so important and relevant that by learning them, one is said to become aware of the true history of the world. Now, I believe the void century is the 1800s. Now, one of the main reasons I believe the 1800s is the void period, or the void century, is because of the unique advanced architecture compared to the people living during this time. Now, the 1800s is an interesting time. Throughout the world, there are a lot of wars, earthquakes, crazy fires, floods. I'll just briefly talk about one of these destructive events. The Great Chicago Fire of 1871. Apparently, this fire destroyed thousands of buildings, killed an estimated 300 people, and caused $200 million in damages. The Great Chicago Fire started on the evening of October 8, 1871. While there is little doubt that the fire started in a barn owned by Patrick and Catherine O'Leary, the exact cause of the fire remains a mystery. Let me show you some pictures of the fires. You're telling me a fire did all this damage? A simple fire that started in a barn? You're telling me it sliced stone buildings in half, turning into rubble a fire? Really? A fire did all this? There are just so many inconsistencies throughout the world in the 1800s, and that's why I think it's the void period. This looks like the result of a crazy cataclysm or some kind of crazy weapon. The buildings right here are straight up sliced. It's as if some type of reset happened during the 1800s. You're telling me these distinguished gentlemen with their horse and buggies built stuff like this throughout the world? Really? Here's a fascinating looking building in Melbourne in the 1800s. Apparently this was built in 1865. Again, with the horse and buggies, apparently these are the type of people that built all this. Just so many inconsistencies. Now here's what I actually believe. These are the type of homes that these horse and buggy people actually built. But these type of buildings look like they belong to another possible civilization, and you find the same type of buildings and structures and architectures throughout the world. Here's Melbourne, Australia, and on the right is London, England. Such a strange, mysterious time. These old world buildings have copper domes and antennas, possibly for free energy, who knows? Such as this interesting looking antenna. A lot of these buildings have copper domes and antennas, which also happens to be great conductors of electricity. Here is a Chicago museum in the 1800s. Apparently, these type of people in the 1800s built this advanced structure. But where is all the concrete here? Like I said, a lot of weird inconsistencies, things not adding up. And a lot of these buildings had huge windows and huge doorways for average sized people. It just doesn't make sense. Very interesting and mysterious time period. The void century. Look at these big old pillars compared to the people. If you guys enjoyed this theory, I do have a YouTube channel where I talk about similar subjects. It's called Alpha Talks. The link for it will be in the bio. I've made longer full-length videos on YouTube about this similar topic. Let me know if you guys want a longer video on the void century theory. And we are out.